everyone. On my last visit to McGrath Family Farm, I got to hang out with Phil McGrath and the Rodale Institute. So they showed up. I had no idea that we were going to be there and I was very excited to show up at that right timing so that I could share this information with all of you. It was a really nice day and also we're looking forward to the possibility of having some events there so that we can connect with all of you in person. So that is something really exciting. And uh, so I will let Tony from Rodale Institute explain to you now uh, what they were doing there. What's the experiment all about? Uh, I'm Tony, I'm with the Rodale Institute. Uh, we're an organic farming research organization. We're probably one of the oldest ones in the country. We were established 75 years ago in Kutztown, Pennsylvania. That's where our main campus is, our main research site. Here in California at McGrath Family Farms, we have a five acre satellite research station, which we just started uh, about two years ago. I personally started working here in January. Um, so we're very much, you know, kind of in the beginning phases of building up this research station. And our main focus is soil health. So to that end, um, most of the research we pursue is related to cover crops, how cover crops can enhance soil health, and um, different ways to integrate cover crops into cultivating into California agriculture. So uh, one of our main experiments that we got funded here, and you kind of see a little bit over there to, to my right, uh, is we're looking at growing cover crops and using the straw residue left behind by cover crops as an alternative to plastic mulch. Uh, one, of, uh, one of the standard practices for cultivating strawberries is growers will use a very thin film of plastic. They'll create these raised beds and cover that bed with the plastic, poke holes in the plastic and plant the strawberries in the holes. Uh, and plastic mainly keeps the weeds down and um, it's a very standard practice. There's tens of thousands of acres across California, really the country, probably hundreds of thousands of acres that use plastic like this. And as you can imagine, it creates a lot of waste. So what we're looking at as a potential alternative is we grow these uh, cover crops that produce a lot of biomass and then we'll roll it down with an implement called a roller crimper. This will uh, you know, terminate the cover crop and basically leave behind a lot of straw residue that covers the ground and is pretty effective at, at controlling weeds um, in systems that are used for growing like corn and soybeans. And that's what uh, Rodale sort of innovated um, and, and spread like in the Midwest. Here we're looking at if we can use that system for growing strawberries in California and see how it can compare to uh, the plastic mulch and see if it's an alternative to plastic. Awesome, we look forward to seeing the results. What do, when do you think, what's the timeline that you're looking at for this? So we're gonna be planting strawberries, um, see it a little bit in the distance, that's that, that sort of grass, those are the beds that have the cover crops growing on them right now. We're gonna roll that down in another month and then plant strawberries uh, shortly after. So we'll start seeing sort of the first, uh, I guess the first preliminary results like in the fall, you know, see how effective, effective or not it was. That's part of the experiment, you know. Awesome, thank you.